Hello, my name is Joaquin Aspiazu, and today I would like to talk to you about ideas. Ideas are one of the most important tools that a tester can bring because basically is the, I don't know, how can you test if you don't have ideas, okay? So ideas are a very important thing. Uh, where do ideas come from? Well, ideas can come from three different parts. It can come from errors. This is you try to do something, it goes wrong, so you learn something out of it. It comes from theft. You see somebody else's idea and you say, hey, what a good idea, I'm going to try it. You can do this in two ways. You can understand perfectly the idea and take it to your side and try it out, or you can understand a wrong part of the idea, a corrupted version of this idea, and try it wrong, so you might mm, get something new out of it, or you might go into error, but basically it's theft. Third one, yes, copulation. If this is the act of taking two different ideas, mix them together to get a new one, something new. Why is it so difficult to have ideas? Because you have three different things that can put in danger all your process of generating new ideas. Self-blindness is the first one. If you fail to see yourself, if you fail to understand how others are seeing you, or what are you doing, then it's going to be very difficult that you can learn something out of the things you do and the errors you make. If you see it, those two are correlated. You are never going to learn from your errors if you are not able to understand first that you did an error. No problem syndrome is what happens to you when it doesn't matter the situation you are in, your first reaction is to say, oh, that's not a problem. Uh, if you have the no problem syndrome, you won't be able to understand other ideas that other people have, so you won't be able to steal anybody else's idea, anybody else's solution to a problem, because you are basically not able even to see the problem. And the third one is the single solution belief. If you if you have the belief that all the problems have one single solution, you are never going to be able to think in two different ideas, two different solutions, and how to blend them together to make a brand new one. So this is what I wanted to talk to you about the kinds of about where do ideas come from and why don't you get more of these ideas? Uh, of course, this is not my own idea. All these ideas come from this book, Becoming a Technical Leader. It's written by Jerry Weinberg, and I can recommend it to you. It's a very interesting read. If you find yourself in a situation where other people are suddenly listening to you, to what you have to say, or you are somebody's kind of manager, appointed manager, whatever you are, if you start having influence on other people's work or life, I really recommend you to give a read to this book. And this is it. Thank you very much. Thank you.